my gosh, I look so weird. Okay, so today I am going to try the stocking cap method. Um, um, I am very, very nervous. Okay, I feel like I'm about to go swimming or something. This looks really weird because the fact that it's all the way down here. But whatever, whatever. Okay, so I got my wig and this wig is from rpg hair and i've been seeing on instagram not instagram on youtube the stocking cap method so i'm going to use this wig right here from them um it's a straight silky wig so we're gonna try this together um so i watched a couple videos of like what they did and stuff and i'm nervous so i need to use one of these and I don't know which one I'm going to use. Well, I'm about to decide right now. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to put it all over this part of the stocking cap. Um, I know I'm definitely going to have to like wash my hair after this because it just seems so messy. But I want to try it. So um, <laughs> it's hard to tell. You're supposed to put it on your hairline. But the thing with me is like... I have baby hair and it's hard to like kind of tell like where my hair starts but we're gonna try this so I'm just gonna plop oh it feels weird I'm just gonna plop this on here okay so I got it all on I'm gonna take this blow dryer and I did one layer. I'm going to dry it on cool. I don't know how long this will take. Okay, so I hope it's been long enough. It's supposed to like dry or get tacky. So then you cut the lace around it, which I'm scared as heck to do. Because um, I don't want to cut my hair. But I'm gonna cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Oh wait, I need the other scissors. Oh my gosh. Don't want to cut me baby hair. These scissors suck. And I'm sucking at cutting. Okay, I cannot cut on camera. Okay, so I cut it off and I'm like legit scared to get extra close. But um, I'm just going to use this got to be glued and there's like stuff everywhere. And now I'm going to like slick this part down. So basically you're supposed to like um, cut as close as you can. But I just figured, you know, I don't want to cut my hair. I'm not about to risk that. So... This is the next step. So we're just going to move on to this next step. I think it will work. I almost cut the side of my hair over here too. Because I didn't cover it enough. So I'm just going to glue this down. Yeah. Now I'm going to blow dry it again so it gets tacky. Okay, so it's nice and tacky. Oh, I'm about to fall out of chair. All right, so I'm going to put this wig on. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Like, y'all, I never tried this before. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this piece of lace off of this wig. It's in that way. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Here we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Hold on. <laughs> Let me find out, okay? Um, 
So what I'm going to do now is make sure I got it. Uh oh. What the hell? Oh. I should have made sure it's like lined up to everything. Okay. I'm going to take the comb, the bottom of the comb, and put it like, put it down. Y'all, I don't know if I have the patience for this. And this is like super interesting. Okay. So, let me get closer so y'all can see. But it actually does work. Like, it looks really good. It actually does work, you guys. All right, I'm about to get my um, flat iron and like do something with this real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and I straightened the wig. Um, so this is what it's looking like and this is my first time doing it so I know I would have to practice doing it. But this wig right here was like a no part wig. So I don't know, like on me I feel like it looks weird kind of because I would have to like put it back behind my ear or something just because like this whole part right here first of all this flap keeps coming up but this whole part over here it just looks weird on my head because I have always I always have baby hair like I always have some type of baby hair out and with this I would have to like um cut it and make some baby hair um and then like naturally I just use my baby hair sometimes um and keep that part out but since I did have to like comb not comb but put the little net thing on um the cap over my baby hair my baby hair is like not there so it's just like different for me because I'm so used to seeing that baby hair in the front but um I would have to practice with this because this is new for me I'm not used to it at all um, and also there's not a part in it I can put a part in it um, I would have to pluck the hairs so if I want to do a middle part um, I would have to pluck um, and then you can do a side part too it's free parting which is good so you can part it wherever you want um, so if I want it I could part it there um, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like just like out the box without plucking it um it does say it's a pre-plucked wig but um y'all this was my first time this hair is bomb though like look at the hair like <laughs> i know i didn't do that great of a job putting this thing on my head but that was my first time i'm gonna try again and i'm gonna try to get better at it and figure out you know but literally this was my first time doing it um so yeah, so the hair came in this package right here. And it came with a wig cap for me, but I used one I already had because this one was too dark. The wig cap should match your skin tone. Um, and then it came with this brush. Let me try this brush. RPG hair brush. Ooh, it's not, ooh this is a really nice brush. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this brush is bomb. So it comes with the brush and then it also comes with an elastic band to secure your wig down. But yeah, I like, I actually really like this hair. Like, look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah, and this right here, it's very secure. It ain't going nowhere. Um, like, look, I was trying to like pull it, but it's not going anywhere. 
at all. It's actually very, very like, this is really good security. Oh my goodness. But let me get close so y'all can see. So yeah, I need some baby hair to like, I would have to cut some baby hair to let it lay down. But I think I semi did it halfway of a good job my first time trying it. I'm gonna try it again and I will record it so y'all can see. And then I probably also um, need to pluck like the front of it kind of just to make it look thinner because it's very thick. It's very, very so, yeah. thick. So the details on this wig, piece is sticking out. Um, it's a natural color, 14 inches, 180% density and it's silky straight. So those are the deets on the wig. Um, Please, y'all help me, help me. Let me know um, what else I'm supposed to do because, um, yeah, I need help with this one. But the hair is great. So, comes down to here, by the way. It's 14 inches. So, the hair is actually really, really nice. I think if I were to uh, maybe put it on how I usually do, then it will come out a little better. But this is my first time trying this. I just can't get over, like, this part, like... It's so round. It's so round. It's interesting. So yeah. So um, let me know what you guys think. I know it, this is not like the best tutorial or how you do it really the correct way. But I just wanted to try it and show you guys. Especially since it's my first time. So I will leave the info for this hair and all that stuff below. And thank you for watching. Bye you guys.